Welcome to Keto on the Bench, Pajamas Edition. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketas. Ketas. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome to the more than 250 new subscribers since the last Keto on the Bench. Now here on Two Crazy Ketas, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we usually sit down on the couch and talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketas.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload it at least five new videos every single week so make sure you subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it yeah so you must be wondering like why are you saying this is a pajama edition and that is because we did our live stream with Carrie Brown tonight we did we immediately sat back down and we filmed keto on the couch slash keto on the bench because we were so excited yeah and I went to edit it and both audios failed. The one on the camera and the one on these overhead microphones. Neither of them picked up any audio. So our kids had been like super patient. Yes. Waiting to like, you know, have their evening after we would finish what we were doing. And so we just couldn't bring ourselves to say like, we need you to wait another hour. So we went ahead and waited until 1130 tonight to start filming this yes. again. So we've been up since 3 a.m. Yes. It is now midnight going into Monday, and we're going to film Keto on the Bench. Yes. And I'm going to have a super coffee. Um, I'm going to need to get a sip of that. You have coffee or tea. I have some tea, but you owe me, sir. You know these super coffees are super precious to me. Not as precious as me. I will give you the first sip. Thank you. <laughs> So if you're new to our channel, welcome. Every Monday, we usually sit down on the couch and we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. But right now, we are in the middle of the 12 days of keto where every day we are live streaming at five o'clock and we have different sponsors and they're sponsoring the channel simply by giving us things to give away. They're not giving us any money or anything like that. Tonight, we had Carrie Brown, Can who is a this? famous author. She was the pastry chef for the Queen of England. And she joined us live. And if you haven't seen that, go check it out. I'm gonna leave a link for that right over Rachel's head. You want to go ahead and check that out and enter to win. Because if you're seeing this Monday morning, it means that we haven't had the drawing for the getaway. Actually, three drawings. Yes, she gave us three different, not just three different cookbooks, but three different cookbooks, one to three different winners. So and we're gonna have three winners. signing them. And personally writing a note to you. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> so make sure you go check out that video. All you have to do to enter into the contest to win one of the three cookbooks is make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like on that video, mm -hmm. and then leave a comment and we are going to, if you're watching this, on Monday, the, December 9th, 2019, we will be drawing the winner during our live stream, which will be tonight at five o'clock Eastern Standard Time. She was so stinking cool. Yep. Like, I, I'm just so glad that like, I just held my myself together, <laughs> right? Like, I was so excited to get to talk to her. And I mean, she's fascinating. She's fascinating. She has some great stories. She talks about uh, why she got on a keto because of like her depression and, you know, different issues that she had. And bipolar. It's just like, bipolar disorder. I mean, just, it was such an incredible live stream, such an incredible interview. I really enjoyed getting a chance to talk to her. I'm super excited to be able to get to hang out with her when we go to Keto Salt Lake. Oh my goodness. So yeah, just an incredible live stream. So make sure you guys go check that out. So as for the rest of our week, it has been a busy week, mm -hmm. but it's been a fun week. It has been the funnest week, and you guys had made every single day so much fun. Thank you for, for tuning in, for joining us on the live stream, for hanging out with us for an hour each day. It has been, I think, my favorite week Yes. Yeah. And a lot of people keep commenting like, hey, we appreciate you guys so much. I and mean, we know that it, this is so much work and it is a lot of work, but we're really enjoying it. And you know, when, when you're doing something that you really enjoy, 
it doesn't seem like work, so we are enjoying doing this and we're, we're, we're loving doing this. Hanging out with you and getting to give stuff away is like the perfect intersection of everything that we love. <laughs> Just awesome. It is. And now I also wanted to mention the subscriber Christmas tree, which is right there. If you missed the live stream last Thursday, we decorated our tree. Now every ornament that is on that tree behind Rachel has been given to us by a subscriber. If you're new to our channel, maybe you're just checking us out for the first time. Hi. And yeah, so we basically, or one of our subscribers came up with this idea of, you should have a subscriber tree. So the only thing that will ever go on that tree this year are ornaments that you guys send, and it's not too late. If it's you not. want, uh, our mailing address is down in the description. And if you want to see all of the different ornaments that are on there, uh, you can go to our website. It's also linked down below on twocrazyketos.com. And there's a little link so that you can view the tree a little bit closer up, as well as every single ornament. If you hover over the ornament, you can see which subscriber uh, gave us the ornament. And then if you click on it, you can see the ornament up close. Yeah, and they're awesome. And as new ornaments come in, we will we're go ahead keep and, adding it to it. and keep adding it. And so, and we're not gonna come up with like the top 10 for you guys to vote on for for like a winner of the subscriber tree until the next Keto on the Couch. Yeah, so next week's Keto on the Couch, we're gonna show you guys some of our favorites and then we're gonna ask you guys to kind of tell us what your favorites are and the top two or three are gonna get a little something special for us. Honestly, I don't even know how we're gonna come down to a top 10. I may just say, it's up to you guys because every one of those ornaments is super special to me. They all yeah. have a meaning behind them and they're just super special to me. So I don't even think I can come up with a top 10. Honestly, I feel like just putting everything out there and you all come up with. You guys come up with the top two, three, four. You see every single ornament is different, is special, is unique, just like your story. Yep. And yeah. And it's not necessarily based on like what looks the nicest but the story behind it because as the ornaments came in we also like if there was a little note we read a note i mean somebody gave us the or a box of ornaments saying i want to fill in the gaps the way you fill in the gaps for us i mean so and then some people ha haven't done like a craft in a really long time and was like hey if you'd like me to try to do a craft you know what i'm gonna get in there i'm gonna do my best and do a craft and i mean that meant so much for me right. like all of it, yeah. I mean, which kid do you like the best? I, I there, there is no, there's no answer to that. There They're isn't. all precious. Yeah, and so we just really appreciated you guys doing that for us, which is one of the reasons that we came up with the 12 days of keto where we could give back to you guys. And we've really enjoyed live streaming so much for the last, so far, eight days. Got oh, a few more days. Song? You want to sing your song? Yeah. So if you haven't seen any of the 12 days of keto yet, every day we're adding on because, you know, day one, day two, three, three. And so Rachel has come up with a song to the tune of the 12 days of Christmas, but based on the companies that are sponsoring the 12 days of keto. Because really it's it's such a beautiful thing that they've done. Yes. Right? Just to give away something to for people to kind of try their products if they haven't, or to just bless, you know, with a much loved product that everybody uses all the time and it was like how cool it would it be to just get some for free yeah. you know so i just want to remind everybody every day of all of these people who have made it possible thank you to those companies yeah so so far we're up to day eight so here we go on the eighth day of keto two crazy ketos gave away carrie brown cookbooks lolly's cookie clusters rich and chocolatey keto bars and orange keto crate alterna sweet sauces chris and miriam's keto chow perfect keto goodies and a keto coach ketone meter you have a pretty good voice for midnight and you've been up since 3 a.m thank you you know i'm gonna hit the jazz clubs <laughs> after this it's getting a little sultry um but yeah and speaking of the keto coach ketone meter this week was the whole get back into yes. ketosis following thanksgiving and i loved it i actually didn't go off of keto food if you want to say that on thanksgiving however i did eat basically like double my weight in food and so getting back into what was what's an appropriate amount of food for the day, mm -hmm. this was the week to do it. Yeah. And, and I loved it and I felt great. 
Yeah, now this week, I mean, food for us was pretty simple this week, mostly because we had a super hectic schedule. And also because I got sick. And Rachel was sick. So Rachel pretty much did keto chow for most of the week. Thank you, keto chow. And then we also, I made burgers one day. This I great. ate very simple. I ate like eggs. I ate some burgers. I made some meal prep that I made for the boys. Like I came up with another casserole. We don't have a recipe out on it, but basically it's just a simple breakfast casserole, which is based off of my broccoli casserole, my broccoli breakfast broccoli casserole, but it's just meat. It was eggs, a pound of sausage, and a pound and a half of bacon, and then some cheese. Okay, that's not upsetting. No, so but every single bite was like taking a bite into meat. Is it there cream awesome. in there? There was some heavy cream in there to turn it into the casserole, but it was amazing. So I ate that. I, I ended up having to stick it into the freezer all cut up because every time I went in there, I noticed Anthony was taking it and eating it, and I wasn't going to have any food left. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, I love that we're matchy-matchy. I know this sounds like super nerdy, but we actually do like to, for Christmas get matching yeah. um, pajamas for Christmas morning. And I don't care that we're 110 years old, right? Like, <laughs> couple goals, right? We're yeah, trying. Yeah, well, I don't usually sleep in a pajama shirt, but I don't think anybody wants to see me like doing a live stream or doing a video with no shirt on at all. However, thanks to Keto Crate, we get to see a picture of you in the Keto Crate with no shirt on, both yeah. before and after Keto. So now so the other thing I wanted to mention is that this Thursday will be the final day of the 12 days of Keto. And on that day, aside from announcing what, who the sponsor is for that day, and then we'll pick that winner on Friday. Right. We have to pick the winner for Wednesday's giveaway. And there's gonna be. Which I believe is Primal Noms, if I remember right. Yes. And Thursday is Fresh Jack Seasoning. <clears throat> Excuse me. I believe that's how we yes. ended up. But also on that day, on Thursday, December 12th, which will be live streamed, by the way, at eight o'clock p.m., um, we are picking three winners for Keto Crates. Three. And now the reason we're doing three is because if you didn't see it, the other day we did our Keto Crate unboxing, which I'll leave a link for that over Rachel's head. And in that video, we talked about the fact that we were featured in this month's Keto Crate, Crate.club, where they tell you like all of the different like, you know, companies that are in there and the discount codes and everything like that. And so exciting. They had a little card about us inside, and because they did that, they allowed us to ha give away three different crates, so we're gonna give them all away on Thursday's live stream. So make sure you tune in for Thursday's live stream at eight o'clock Eastern time. This is so fun, and what I love is, the celebration of the holiday season does not end on December 12th. Yeah, because we got so excited about doing live streams and you guys have been awesome listening to us babble for an hour every single day, even though I still haven't gotten like the audio right, so I'm sorry that sometimes- We're so sorry. Hey, if you tune into one of those and there's no audio in the first 20, 30 seconds, bear with us. I'm learning. Yeah, I think that by the end, by Christmas, the Christmas gift to the audience will be, we're gonna have one of these things. We're gonna have it right. Well, we've had one day so far. Go with off without a hitch. Perfect. So, so because we enjoy that so much, starting on Friday, December 13th, we're gonna join our church, which every year our church does something called the 12 Days of Serve, where they give back to the community because of the holiday season. And not just celebrating Christmas, but Hanukkah yes. and you know, Kwanzaa and everything else. So. What we're going to do is for 12 days, we're going to take that list of the church, but we're gonna pick one each day. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna ask you guys to join us on our live stream and you know what, participate giving back to the community. For example, one day will be like, um, you know, give something nice to your postal worker or a UPS guy who's working over like and above their normal working hours oh right goodness. now. Yes. Or bless a single mom. Or a dad. Or a dad. Um, make something for a homeless person, like a little care package. There's all kinds of things that you can do. And just like your story will bless whoever that you share with. There there are people that your unique story will really speak to. Just like that, your serve will speak into somebody's holiday season and just bless them uniquely. Yeah. So we're going to live stream every single day all the way up till 
December 24th. Which, now, December 24th is probably going to be a very early live stream, probably like 12 o'clock, because our church this year is doing Christmas in the park in Parkland. Yeah. Which is really going to be awesome to bless a community that really has been hurting for the last couple of years. Yes, so absolutely. So we're excited about that. And uh, it will be at an a a amphitheater, and we are, I'm, I'm still working to see if we can get that live streamed as well, in yeah. case there's anybody that is just wanting to tune in to a Christmas. Eve service. Yeah. So now along with that, I wanted to say before we get into just some of the other stuff that we wanted to talk about today, um, the live streaming. Yes. We are enjoying live streaming and even after all of this is over, we are going to continue live streaming at least one time every single week. We're going to have one scheduled one every single week, which up till now has been Thursdays at 8 o'clock Eastern time. However. However, we are actually Patreons of Dr. Barry. Because we love him. Because we love him and we want to support you know, what he's trying to accomplish, which is tell the world that like you can work on some of your diseases and medical problems through your diet. Exactly. And uh, one of the benefits of being a Patreon of Dr. Barry is you get to join him on what's called Zoom meetings where, you know, get to ask him personally some questions and stuff like that on video. The problem is that is also on Thursdays at eight o'clock Eastern time. And we don't want to miss that just because I'm sure he's continuing to give out good information and we want to be able to take that back to everybody right so what we're going to do is not this week but probably the following week what we're going to do is we are going to try to shift that Thursday live stream time mm -hmm. and instead of being at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time on Thursday, we're going to put it up to you guys. What would be better? Would it be better to shift our live stream from Thursday till Wednesday at 8 o'clock Eastern time? Uh -huh. Or would it be better to leave it on Thursday but move it up till 7 Eastern time? Now, the only problem with the moving it to well, maybe even 630, the only problem with that is we'd really have to make sure we're off in time so that we could jump onto the Zoom meeting with Dr. Barry, because it would be like immediately following. But we wanna put it in your hands and let you guys tell us which one works better for the masses. I know we can't please everybody, which is why we yeah. leave the live streams to immediately person, go into a role play. One person wants it 345, one person right. wants it 1230, yeah. So we're trying, we wanna see like, what do most of you want? And then once we know, we can let you know what they were going to shift it to. Because this is for you guys. Like yes. we love you and we want to 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 serve whatever, you know, role we can. Yeah. Really. But other than that, this week, like we said before, has been so much fun. It has. It's just been so much fun. We're really enjoying doing this. We're enjoying I'm really enjoying the live streaming because I get to talk to you guys. I know that like, is the best. It is the cool, even with all of the technical challenges and we're learning and we're getting better at it. It's it's just been fun to be able to answer your questions, not in a comment yeah. five days later, right. but like wait a immediately. Week. That's my favorite. <laughs> I get to see people and wave and I also get to wear silly hats. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> Got, we got a comment about that a little bit later on. About my silly hat? About your silly hats. Oh, okay. But now the other thing, and we're going to get into the comments because we really wanted to make today's Keto on the Couch, since we are live streaming every day and kind of answering a lot of questions right there, um, we kind of wanted to uh, try our cheese, our day eight cheese. Um, because we did not do it on the Carrie Brown thing because we didn't want to be rude to Carrie Brown and say no, like, hey, hey, give us a second. We have to eat, eat our cheese. advent calendar cheese today. Where's number eight? <laughs> so what we decided to do is we were going to do it on Keto on the Couch. But like I said, we've already filmed Keto on the Couch or Keto on the Bench. Yeah. And oh, by the way, if you want to know why is Keto on the Bench, if you didn't see last week's, it's because with all the live streaming, we don't want to have to move the camera and the lights and these overhead microphones back and forth from room to room. And where am I going to put all of my clean laundry that I haven't folded yet? And my mustache is bothering me. I need to trim it. Me too. Sorry. It looks like I'm picking my nose, but I'm just arranging the hairs. Don't, don't let him fool you. <laughs> He's totally picking it. <laughs> now I forgot where I was. Sorry. So... Oh, where was I? We're on keto on the bench. We're on keto on the bench. So yeah, we 
eight day eight cheese in the first filming of Keto on the Bench, but you don't really want to see that because there's absolutely no sound. But I will say this, it was a tomato olive cheese and it was really, really good. It was very good. Especially considering I don't like olives. I know. Which is kind of weird on keto. It's, it's, it's kind of like keto, like two things you have to learn to like is avocados and olives. And uh, I've taught myself to like avocados, but not so much on the olives yet. So basically anything you don't want to eat, if you envelop it in enough cheese, you can get it down. As proven by cream cheese mixed with... Ground beef. No. What? What's the one that we ate with the chaffle? It was ground... Liverwurst. Liverwurst. Yeah. You put some cream cheese in it, you surround what you don't want to eat with cheese, Good to go. <laughs> Bring on the spam, right? I was talking to somebody at church today and uh, we were talking about keto and he was, he's been keto and he was thinking about going carnivore because he struggles with keto. And one of the things, one of the reasons he wants to go carnivore is he's tired of the math. He's um, tired of having to figure out like what fiber is good. He doesn't want to have to read labels. He's like, so what easier way to do that than carnivore? I'm only eating meats. Everything is meat. And you know, my version of carnivore is different than other people's version of a carnivore. For me, carnivore is anything that comes from an animal. So you can eat cheese, you can eat bacon, you can eat cream, you can eat meat. Some people are strictly, I'm only eating steak. You know, everybody is different. But the bottom line is he was like, I don't want to have to be worried about like, am I eating too much fiber here? Or am I eating way too many carbs? If I'm pretty, if I'm all carnivore, the chances of me eating too many carbs is pretty small, unless you're drinking like a quart of heavy cream in the day. I need the carnivore that also allows me to eat smart cakes. <laughs> well, his thing was, he wants to go carnivore, but he knows that really to do carnivore right, you need to get into the organ meats. And he's he's like, just the thought that it was an organ. I don't know if I can eat it. So I was telling him, do Have what I do heart. with you. I said, take the liver, take the heart, chop it up, mix it in your ground beef, and you'll never know. And he's like, how do you know? And I'm like, because I do it to Rachel all the time. I don't want to know. Now I'm going to be suspect of any hamburger that comes across my table. At least once every other week, you're eating hamburger meat that has liver in it. Or heart. What day? I'm not telling you that. Then you won't eat it. Okay, so with that being said, we wanted to make today's Keto on Couch mostly about you guys, the subscribers. So we're going to get into the comments and along with the comments, hopefully this is going to be a little bit better. I've changed our microphone setup. So in the past, we've had two microphones right here pointing down to us. But what I've noticed is, <clears throat> and like it's late, so sorry about the frog in my throat. His, his voice is done. So what I noticed is as, as I turn to the side, you couldn't hear me anymore. Oh. So now we've got the microphones spread apart. Did we turn them on this time? So hopefully they're turned on. So um, we've got four different subscriber of the weeks because the bottom line is all these stories are awesome and we want to celebrate you guys. So uh, you want to get into them? Yes, please. Okay. So the first one is from Melanie. Hello, Melanie. And Melanie wrote, lowest morning fasted blue coast ever. I'm going to be 50 years old on December 30th. I've been overweight most of my adult life. I've been diagnosed with PCOS, me uh, metabolic syndrome. I lost my gallbladder at 24. I was diagnosed with cervical and ure uterine cancer at 26. I had a partial hysterectomy. And at 27, I had a pacemaker for an electrical signal issue between my brain and my heart. My goodness. I started this journey on keto 18 months ago. I was taking 2000 milligrams of metformin and I was an average fasted morning glucose averaging between 127 and 130. Within two months of being on keto, I was able to come off all the metformin, but my morning fasted glucose was still averaging 115. Wow. About 13 months into my journey, I hit a lowest fasted uh, lowest fasted morning blood glucose of 97, and it was my first fasted morning glucose under 100. Two months ago, I had another low of 92, but this morning, I hit my very first morning blood glucose in the 80s. Yes! 
The reason that this is significant to me is that I did not lose weight quickly. Keto is not a weight loss program for me, as I've only lost 30 pounds in 18 months. Only. Wait until you see her. The non-scale victories are important. I am part of a beautiful and glorious turtle club, and weight loss isn't what motivates me, even though it is my desire. So please come celebrate with me at my lowest fasted morning blood glucose as far as I can remember. And take a look at these pictures. You have to see it because we are, had already taped this. I got to see the photos. Melanie, what are you talking about? Only 30 pounds. Yeah, and this is where we're talking about people focus on that number on the scale, including us. Uh, absolutely. That is a huge huge difference look so at this only 30 pounds lady. you look 10 years younger you, do. you look phenomenal i like her little hands and congratulations. up congratulations oh and one other thing happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear melanie happy birthday to you imagine what this year is going to feel like for her yeah. Yes. Amazing, yes. right? We're so excited. This is I awesome. completely forgot why you were singing happy birthday. So it's I'm looking birthday. at the screen, I'm like, oh, that's right. I knew one of our subscriber of the week had a birthday coming up. December but 30th. I'm sorry, Melanie. It's it's midnight. Yeah. <laughs> so, He's done. Sorry for the, the, the weird dumbfounded look of why is Rachel singing happy birthday? <laughs> We both sang it before, but okay. So the next one is Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie. Stephanie said, hi, all fellow keto folks. My name is Stephanie. I go by Nev Steph on YouTube. I'm finding two crazy ketos was the best thing ever. Aww. My husband and I both just love you guys. I topped out at my heaviest in 2015 at 383 pounds. Wait till you see. I was diagnosed with type two diabetes, low blood pressure, was put on a CPAP machine, put on pain pills. I'm now off all meds. Meds, I'm down to 182 pounds, She's though gorgeous. I was 277 when I started my keto in 2019. I kind of go between carnivore slash keto, but it works for me. My husband started keto in March with me, and when he came off the road as an OTR driver, he has gone from 356 pounds down to 264. Awesome. I'm so lucky to have a partner in this lifestyle that is super supportive. Even my non-keto daughter and mom are super supportive. I look forward to meeting more who are on this journey, and it is super nice having other keto people to interact with. And here are my pictures. Wait till and you see. Look at these pictures. Oh my goodness! Incredible. And she's Stephanie. got that little thing that says, "I no longer recognize the person on the left." Okay, so I absolutely recognize that beautiful smile. Like, I love it, and I love your story. You look amazing. Congratulations to your husband as well. I love that you have somebody with you, like, doing this journey together in your home. But you know what else I love? I love that even people that are around you in your life, your daughter and your mother, who are not keto, are still supportive of you. Yeah. That is huge. Yeah, it, it is awesome when you have somebody who can support you and somebody to do the journey with. But if you are on our channel and you don't have anybody supporting you, if you, you do don't now. have anybody to do it with, you have us and you have our Facebook family group. There is a link down below. It is completely free to join. Yep. We're not in there selling stuff. The only thing you'll ever see in there is if we find a a keto deal or of members find a keto deal but there's a you special know, at sprouts there's a special at sprouts and stuff like that but it is just a place for you to go with over a thousand people to keep you motivated to tell you about recipes they found to tell you about deals they found whether it be online with keto companies or at the local grocery store and it's a place that when you're down in the dumps when you had a bad day when yeah. you had a slip up people that are going to lift you up so if you're not a member of our Facebook family group go join and if you're not on Facebook for whatever reason, feel free to send us an email at twocrazyketos at gmail.com. Sometimes it's going to take us a couple yeah. weeks to get to it, but I promise we will one way or another answer you. Reach us however. We're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. Yeah, you can send us a, a, an email. 
We just love hearing from you. We love your story and we want to partner with you and celebrate your successes and be there if you are having a hard day. And we have bad days too. And I love that there's a safe place that I can go and say like, man, things is, it's stinky right th today. Right, and the one place I would say don't message us would be Facebook Messenger. We yeah. tend to not see Facebook Messenger. Until like um, way too late. Until like way too late. So either send us an email, uh, put a message on Facebook itself, on our Facebook group, or send us a direct message at Instagram. But yeah. I, I, I hate to say this, but we almost never see the Facebook Messenger until weeks later. Yeah. And I don't want to miss anybody's messages. I don't either. So yeah, so try to stay away from Facebook Messenger. Okay, so the next one is going to be Cindy. Hey, Cindy. And Cindy wrote, hi, all. I've been lurking a bit, and I thought I need to start interacting with you all. My story, I'll share a condensed version. I'm 58 years young. I, I do not believe this number. I spent most of my adult life overweight, which increased over time. My highest weight that I weighed at 285 pounds, I'm five foot five, and I stopped weighing after that. I followed Jenny Craig, Nutrisystem Weight Watchers, and I eventually lost 25 pounds. That was me. Yep. Then for eight years, nothing. I went to the gym seven days a week and I couldn't lose a pound or an inch. Then okay, I found that, paleo. Okay, that wasn't us. We were not going to the gym every day. <laughs> I was doing CrossFit. Seven days a week? Five. <laughs> I went to the gym seven days a week. I couldn't lose a pound or an inch. Then I found paleo, which turned into low carb, then keto. And recently I've dabbled with carnivore, but I'm nervous. The pic you see below was a one year difference between low carb and keto. I'm down 38 more pounds over the last two years, but keto totally reduced my inflammation and my face says it all. And she said, in just 10 months, when I started my keto in 2017, my triglycerides dropped 100 points. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. She said, in the comments is a pic of my hubby. If I can find that, I will put that in as well. And uh, at weights, who knows? He has now lost 48 pounds, getting under 300 for the first time for him oh. in 18 years. We still have a way to go, so I w so wish that I would have known of this path sooner. By the way, my husband is 68 years young. He had a double hip replacement warrior. Uh, me, I had a new knee last summer, and we hike, bike ride, and my hubby elk hunts in the Colorado mountains and now in northern Arizona mountains. It is a new blessed life. Man. And take a look at these pictures. Gorgeous. You look amazing, Absolutely. Cindy. I, but I really feel like you're fibbing about that 58. Definitely do not look 58. No way. Mid 40s at the oldest. Oh my gosh, yes. Gorgeous. Okay, so the last one is Nicole. Hey, Nicole. And Nicole wrote, hello, hello, keto crew. I wanted to introduce myself. I first started watching the 2KK when they did a collab with Watch Autumn Keto. We love, love Autumn. Autumn. She said, but I was sold and really wanted to join the 2KK family when Rachel described this group as a positive, welcoming, supportive community. That's what I was looking for to be a part of. I'm a 42 year old wife and mom living in Oregon. The hubby does not do keto, which is a pain in my hind, but my three year old loves her some bacon and cheese. I'm excited to be here. Man, we are excited for you to be here. And look at Nicole's pictures because I have to Stunning. tell you, I, other than the smile, yeah, I don't see the new Nicole in the old Nicole. I mean, she, you is look like two different people. But it's the smile. It, the smile Your is smile the only thing that away. I can look at the two and go, okay, well, that was her. Yeah. If it wasn't for that beautiful smile, I would not know like that that is you. And I am so excited for that your preschooler it is on board with the bacon, right? They yep. know what's good. Yeah. Bacon is good. Well, my thing is I'm looking at Nicole here and I'm like, how awesome is it to be looking like this now and have the energy that goes with that much weight oh, loss when man. you have a three-year-old. Mine were I know teenagers. it's been a while since I've had a three-year-old, but we do get to spend a lot of time with them at church. And uh, they're bionic. They're bionic, and they have a ton of energy. Mm -hmm. And I wish I had the energy that I have now at the age of forty-nine, when my kids were three. Do you know when um, a, a toddler or preschooler is the fastest? When? Right after you ask them, what is that in your mouth? <laughs> what is that in your mouth? Gone. Yeah. 60 seconds. Forget it.
So that is the subscriber of the week. Are you ready to get into some comments? Yes. Now, before we get into comments, I had one more thing for you. Now, you just kind of rolled out of bed to film this. Yes, so you don't I have did. your hat on. I do not. Or, or hair done. If you've been watching the 12 Days of Keto, every day, Rachel's had a different hat on. I have. Number one for... 12 Days of Keto. Number two, because every, every year <laughs> we are children's directors and Rachel likes to make all of the kids smile and the kids love to see what she's wearing, something goofy. And it's kind of funny because people message us like, I'm a monster because you were wearing a dress in a video once and they're like, hey, oh. like, why are you making her, her wear a dress? Oh, nobody makes Rachel Clearly, wear anything. Clearly, I have no control over what this woman wears. Trust and me. And that is why I love her. There are some times when I'm sure he would love to have veto power over <laughs> some of the things I'm walking out the door in. But being able to dress wacky is, is important to me. So yes. sometimes... Like, it just goes back to feeling like you belong in a space. Right. And sometimes if you think, do I have the right thing to wear or do I look cool enough um, by everyone else's standards? When you're a kid, that's a tall order. No one is going to say you're, you're dressed foolishly or I don't like you're not cool enough. Miss Rachel will distract everyone's attention and you can just be you. Don't worry about it. Like I'm there and 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 I will look crazy on your behalf. Like now you the, never have to worry. Now the funny part is usually it works with the little one and two year olds. Mm -hmm. Today it didn't. Did not. So we had six services at church for today. And I walked into the one to two year old room, which is where Rachel was. And I was just going to check how many kids we were in because I was running around because there were some computer problems in the different rooms and things like that. And Rachel's holding two kids. There's only four in the room. So I'm like, I don't need to be in this room. There's only four kids, two volunteers. They got this. She's holding two kids. Both of them are screaming. Yes. One of them brand new. Misery does love company. So if one person is crying, everybody is crying. If no people are crying, then no people are crying right so Rachel as soon as I walk in she's like you coming in to help me right and I'm like I wasn't planning on it and she hands this screaming one-year-old to me and as soon as the baby hits my arms stops crying done crying Rachel looks at me and she's like get out I was like Wait, just get out don't get out because I need you to stay here and make sure that this child does not but get out or cry. don't talk to me yeah <laughs> I was like how can they like you more than me I'm wearing a know. Christmas tree on my head, but maybe that's scary. You always say I have ugly mean face. You do. <laughs> that's, I feel like, that's from years of being a bouncer and stuff. I guess, but I'm like, what What baby is like, uh, no, I want the tough looking bald guy. Well, we've completely gotten off topic. The whole Sorry. idea of this topic was to talk about hats. Okay. Because Rachel's had awesome hats. Well, Miss Queen Shelly Hughes, hey, who's Queen a Shelley. member of the Red Hat Society, yeah. put a post in our Facebook group. This is the awesomest hat ever. And she found a hat for Rachel. Take a look at this hat that Queen Shelley found. And she wrote, Rachel, I stuffed several skeins of yarn inside of this hat to make it stand tall. I got it at Walmart for $12. Christmas hats every day. It is awesome. Now, I thanks, love Shelley. the fur trim. It's awesome. It's There's an awesome a hat. in the middle of it. So I have a feeling somewhere in the next 14 days, you guys will see this hat if Rachel can find it. If I can make it, it's going to happen. So it's just an awesome hat. So you ready to get in the comments? Yes. So Eva wrote, this hey, is Eva. for Rachel only. And I'm so glad that you did not see these comments ahead of time and know that I picked this one. Because she wrote, this is for Rachel only. Have you ever tried to put one of those colorful window clings on Joe's head? Sorry, Joe, I had to. Funny you should ask that, but pre-keto, oh, I knew you were we going here. were serving in the preschool room as volunteers before... Be before we actually started working for the church, we were yeah. just volunteers in the preschool room. And there is something that just says billboard about this space. Well, here's the thing. So we, we started in the church and we were a mobile campus at the time. Mm -hmm. There were only four or five, three, four, at the time it was three, four and fives. And we only had four or five kids. But if you've ever gone to church or temple or something like that, sometimes pastor could run long. Long-winded. 
right? Sometimes the rabbi just goes a little bit too long. And if you're in kids ministry, you're like, I was planning on an hour. to wrap this up. What are we going to do? Finish so this. We were always trying to figure out what could you do after we're done with like whatever we were trying to teach for the day when pastor decides to talk for an extra 20 minutes. Yes. So myself and Anthony and Caleb and John Paul came up with all different ideas. We all learned how to tie balloon animals. That was an interesting skill set. And we set. were teaching the kids balloon animals and making balloons. Mm hmm we like did bubbles. Absolutely. And then one day we came up with the idea of, we have a sticker book. And the kids were like, let's see how many stickers we could fit on Mr. Joe's bald head. Yeah, I think we actually, now it's a pre-keto picture. So it was a big bald head. There was a lot of space. And um, so here it is. So take a look at this picture guys. Now in this picture, I think it was like, probably some of my heaviest. Mm -hmm. And I weighed about 290 pounds in that picture. So now that was, that would be four years ago come January. Wow. So come a long way. But yeah, so she's never stuck window clings on my head, but we've had stickers all over my head. Now if Rachel would have seen this comment ahead of time, there would probably be window clings on my head right now. Absolutely there would be. You don't get any ideas. Yeah, absolutely. I just realized I completely forgot to film the part of me cutting the grass with scissors for Chris. That'll have to be in next week's Keto on the Couch. Okay. So, okay. So, uh, MB wrote. Hey, MB. Rachel, just how many Christmas hats do you have? LOL. How, how, how much How much time do you have on your hands there? Um, we have an entire tote of Christmas hats. Yes. I like a different one every single day. And I'm always looking for that next level. You know, you start out and you've got like the, the basic red. Um, but but I like to build on that. I think Queen Shelly just found the next one. Oh, level. no. She wins. she wins. She wins Christmas. Bambi Rose. Hey, Bambi. I love you guys. I hope you feel better real soon, Rachel. Bless your heart. Thank you so much. And thank you guys for your prayers. Yeah. Honestly, this is the first time in years that that sickness that like you get, you know, it's like the once a year thing. I think a lot of times it's tied to Thanksgiving or the, the holidays when you're like, you know what, I'm going to take a day off and sleep in. And then everything that you like that you've been pushing back and pushing off is like the whole way hits you at once so usually what happens is I get sick and it immediately turns into bronchitis and and pneumonia a terrible the first time I could feel you guys praying like it it just went away so thank you for your prayers yeah because Rachel really really the only time you get sick is when you're stressed when you yeah. get super stressed you get sick yeah and so I think that's what happened you were stressed and you were like deep cleaning because we were changing the set. So you were dealing with a lot of dust. And I think the combination and it went away because we were like, how dirty my house was. What are we going to do? We were like, oh my gosh, of all the times to get sick, the week that we are going to live stream every single day. And we have a new series. And we had a new series in church. I mean, yeah, just so much. So yeah, thankfully it went away very quickly, you know, and it was just awesome. Now I did want to say, and then we'll get back to the comments. Um, Yes, we do talk about we upload at least five new videos every week. We've been kind of cut back on that because we're in the middle of the live streaming and right. we are doing an hour every single day. Technically, so, they do turn into videos. Yeah, every day they do turn into videos. So we do have a couple of other videos, but you know, while we're live streaming, we're kind of probably just put up a couple of recipe videos, maybe a review or two or something like that, but not too much of the other stuff. Though I will be doing some vlogging over the next couple of days because somebody gave me an incredible gift of a vlogging camera. So he kind of said, I'm giving you this, but now you have to vlog. So now we're gonna so, vlog our pants off. So we're gonna vlog well, we'll whether keep our anybody, pants on. yeah, yeah, but please let's keep our pants on. It's a family show. <laughs> Let's get back to the comments. Yeah. Okay. So um, Jessica wrote. Hey, Jessica. When is the best time to test your blood ketones? Great question. Not when you get up in the morning. Which is totally like not what I thought. Okay. Well, here's why you don't want to test it as soon as you get up, especially if you've been on keto for a little while. There's something called the dawn phenomenon. Okay. So what happens is, is when you get up, your body starts releasing cortisol to get you going. So this is not a vampire thing. When sunlight no. hits you, you, you melt. No. And what happens when your body releases the cortisol, your blood glucose goes up. Okay. Glucose up, ketones down. 
Mm. So for me, my glucose, I can be fasted for 20 hours. 8 a.m., my glucose is in the high 90s. Which is crazy which sounding. Is super crazy. By 9 o'clock, my blood glucose is back down in the 80s. Haven't eaten anything. And the funny part is, is at about 7 o'clock, it's in the high 80s. It actually goes up even though I haven't eaten anything. It is the weirdest thing and I've done so much research about it. And it really, it's the dawn phenomenon because your body will create its own glucose, which is glucose neogenesis. But that's that's something completely different. It's creating it because it needs it. It wants to get you going. It's like Grandpa so Joe's gotta get started. Yeah, so don't test your ketones first thing in the morning. I would say midday. If you eat breakfast, wait a couple hours, then test your ketones. Tones. Um, if you don't eat breakfast and are only eating like lunch, right before lunch. Yeah. So. so Jessica also wrote, I just made your taco pie and your shepherd's pie. I took a taste of both and they are so good. Jessica, thank you so much for trying our recipes. Yes. We love them. I mean, I think that those freeze really well. Those are my two of my favorites along with the bacon cheeseburger. I really like the taco pie because with the taco pie, I can put like guacamole on it and sour cream and salsa and I just pile it up. And I believe I have a video of the taco pie, uh, which I'll leave a link for that right over Rachel's head. Uh, but I'll also leave links for those down below. Below. But yeah, thank you so much. And I love those recipes. Them. And for sharing them, yeah. Oh, I didn't even realize I did this. Jessica's got a third comment. Well, hey, howdy, hey. And she wrote, when I was a mail carrier, I always appreciated the drinks and the snacks that people would bring me out. People are so amazing. Awesome. I love that. Yeah, at this time of the year, your mail carriers, your UPS drivers, your FedEx delivery guys, your, your cashier, Amazon people, your cashiers, at Walmart, they are working the grocery so, store. so hard. So please be nice to them. Take care of them. Leave them some bottles of water. Just, just a smile to them because some Change. people are so rude and mean to these people at this I time know. of the year. And you could change their whole day. That's right. So Chris Bear wrote, Chris from Keto Chow. We love Chris. He said, to say Han shot first infers that Greedo shot at all. Just saying. Very Funny true. Funny you should say that. However, Caleb had just brought to our attention, hey, did you see what they've done with this new Disney Plus? Yes. They've actually tweaked that scene to make it look like maybe Greedo is about to shoot. Yeah, so he's like, yeah, Greedo shoots first now. I'm like, what? There's an added piece of dialogue where Greedo seems to insult Han with some alien phrase. I bet you have. My monkey. <laughs> And now I have to go rewatch Star Wars, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, that's not a bad I, thing. I love watching Star Wars. So. Baby Yoda. <laughs> Debbie wrote. Hey, Debbie. I love Chris Bear. He's hilarious. We need t shirts with the ketone molecules on them. I'm digging the ornaments. How brilliant. So, yeah, so if you didn't see, Chris, the owner of Keto Chow, he's got a 3D printer, and his contribution was not only Keto Chow like logos, but he actually made ketones. And he made all three, and they're just awesome. And Miriam, his wife, said it took him like three days to make those. That is the most amazing family. Actually, when we got done talking to Carrie Brown. We talked to her a little, about them for a little while, and she about, was just talking about how she's awesome She's like, this they is are. the greatest family ever. Yeah. They're just so down to earth, sweet, loving. I, I'm, we just can't say And that. it's not just because we like their product. They are just so great. I mean, when we went out to KetoCon back in June, I mean, we were a tiny little YouTube channel. And we were honestly going out there and going like, nobody's gonna know us, we're not gonna know anybody. Like, we were going really just for us to enjoy ourselves. And Chris and Miriam were so welcoming. I mean, they had us come over to their house for dinner. They introduced us to people. And I just can't say enough positive things about them and the way they run their company. And you know what they are? They're when you're in middle school, like the toughest time of your life, they're that person at the cafeteria lunch table that says, you wanna sit by me? Yeah. I mean, it's all the difference in the world, right? Absolutely. They're on the bus and they're like, hey, I saved you a seat. And you're like, what? Like, they're that nice. Yeah. And make sure you check out their live stream, whether or not you use Keto Chow or not, check out their live stream, it's which fun. is on Tuesdays at 9.30 Eastern time. It's 7.30 Utah time. And they talk a lot, not just about Keto Chow, but they talk about just Keto in general. They do awesome giveaways. Uh, they're friends with a lot of people in the Keto space, like Dr. Barry and Kim Howerton and Carrie Brown. And Chris has a wealth 
of knowledge when it comes yes. to keto. I mean, he has researched stuff, and so you can learn a lot of things, and it's a fun live stream, so make sure you guys go check it out. It's on Facebook every also, single week. they have some of the cutest kids ever. They do. Okay, so um, Sherry wrote. Hey, Sherry. Yes, Rachel, I splatter, spill, spit, and spew my drinks every day. If I'm drinking it, it's gonna end up on me. It's, it's true, or it's gonna end up on the roof of my car like it did this past week. I had my Contigo, which I love Contigos, right? Nothing like does not spill my coffee out like a Contigo. But I had some Kai 2 creamer in it, and I just wanted to, I put the lock on, just wanted to up, down, up, down, up, down. I, I guess I'm doing the reverse here, but that's what happened. I unlock it. <laughs> Kind of like when I got my truck and it's still on the ceiling of my truck. Everywhere. Covered. I was like, how much was in the little spout? <laughs> Speaking of Contigos, we had talked about the other day during a live stream, and we had talked about trying to get Hydro Flask coffee mugs. Yeah. Unfortunately, I did reach out to them and they're in the middle of- Unfortunately, you reached out. Let me finish. They are unfortunately in the middle of doing um, like some warehouse renovations, so they are not doing any personalization. So we're gonna look for another option. Yeah. But I did want to say that we also talked about those stainless steel blender bottles, mm -hmm. and we had purchased them, and then we said if you want to pre-order them, don't feel obligated. But if you wanted to pre-order them, because we only ordered thirty of them, there's a coupon code two KK pre-order, which gets you three dollars off. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys are amazing. Totally amazing. Because there's only seven left out of the 30s like so you guys are amazing so I think we are going to place another order for those they'll just be in later than this first order now the first order if you look on the website it does say that the expected delivery date is December 31st it's actually earlier the guy told us three weeks but we're both kind of believers of you know under promise and over deliver heck yeah so like they're telling us at 30 they're telling us it'll probably be in before Christmas but I don't want to say that and then they're not so that's That'd why it's December 31st so we probably will pre-order some more uh, but you guys are just amazing but there are Thank still you. seven if you're interested I will leave a link down below for those. Okay, so you ready? Yes. Okay, so Anne wrote, now hey, these Anne. are all Thanksgiving. We had asked you guys last week, what did you do for Thanksgiving? Mm -hmm. You know, did you stay keto? Did you not stay keto? And if you didn't stay keto, that's perfectly fine. What'd you eat? A lot of people make that decision that I'm gonna go off plan for one day and then get right back on it That's the next a day. plan. That's a plan and that's a good thing. So Anne wrote, we stayed keto for Thanksgiving. Our entire meal was keto. We hosted our son's family and they are not keto. They liked everything I prepared. We had such a fun day. The keto sales have really drained our bank account. Same. Uh, they were too good to pass up. I placed three orders with Perfect Keto. Thanks for sharing your lives with us. You two are so generous and gracious, and it's great to be a part of your family. The encouragement and sharing in this community is beyond amazing. We love you guys. And yeah, it's, you know, I've found that although I'm kind of, you're, you're worried at first to share sometimes like keto recipes. Yeah. But you had enough bacon and butter and cream. There is nobody that is walking away from that table and being like, no, I couldn't possibly eat any more cheesy deliciousness. I have found- Fat is flavor. I have found when it comes to keto food, most non-keto people will enjoy all of the entrees. Yes. Sometimes they don't enjoy the desserts because they're used to sugar and not erythritol or xylitol or, you know, different the, sweeteners. And their sweet tooth is set to like... Right. Like Anthony. Crazy. Anthony loves to cook. Anthony likes any keto entree I make. I mean, he cannot get enough of it. And what's not to love? It's fat. Yeah. And fat is flavor. Right. When it comes to keto desserts, he's super picky. So when I come up with a dessert like our keto chow chocolate cream pie, yes. and he devours it, I know I've got a hit. Right. Because the fudge. when you have a non-keto person enjoying keto sweets, if they like it, you know it's really good because that's the thing that most non-keto people don't like. Exactly. They're, they just, they want their sugar. Yeah. But when it comes to the entrees, it's hard to find somebody who won't enjoy those entrees. Kids, kids included. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so Slapstick wrote. Hey, Slapstick. I didn't track macros for Thanksgiving, but I ate all the keto-friendly foods. My wife did not. She didn't feel good after, but she did get back on track the next day. 
I love it. There's a plan. And she made so, a plan and she stuck to it. Man, and I have, I have, uh, you definitely did something similar to what she did in the past, which is you tried just a little bit and like you weren't feeling so yeah. great after it either. Yeah, now if you've never seen like, we talked about this in a couple of videos, when I first started on keto, I started solely for weight loss. I didn't know about the health benefits because there wasn't as much information out no. there, like not readily available right. that there is now. And so my plan was lose a bunch of weight. I was never going to go back to eating a whole bunch of sugars and stuff, but I figured, you know what? I'm going to occasionally have some carby Dressing, vegetables, stuffing, you know, eat, you know, things like sweet potatoes, maybe once in a while, some French fries and stuff like that. Well, that Christmas I had gotten myself down to 190 pounds from 285 and I was like, okay, it's Christmas. I'm going to have a small slice of pie and uh, I had some macaroni and cheese and I felt like garbage for a week. Yeah. And that is when I made the decision, no, keto for life. And that's also when I started realizing, wow, I've got all of these other health benefits. And then it's like you couldn't give you no. some macaroni and cheese because I'm no longer gifting myself with feeling sick the rest of the week. Though, like I said to Carrie Brown, if there was anything I was going to go off keto for during the holidays, it would be that Costco fruitcake, which is why... I'm staying out of Costco during the Christmas season. Because that may be the sample that's hard for you to pass up yeah. still. Yeah, and I just know myself. But for the most part, I have no desire to eat non-keto foods. I, I enjoy keto foods. And most things you can turn keto. Not everything, but most things. But I like that the keto diet is not like all or nothing. No. Like if you if you indulge in something that's non-keto, like you can never come back. No. Like that there are is... people who do cyclical keto where they eat some you know non-keto foods like once a week or once a month or once every couple weeks and then they cycle right back on. There's something for everybody. I choose not to do that because I don't trust myself. So Ellen wrote- Hey Ellen. To avoid temptation on Thanksgiving, I fasted. It was easier than I expected. Hey, there's a plan too. Yeah. I mean, I was talking to somebody who was saying that um, they would just like to get, oh, they're not even keto. They're just like, I am so done with like every single event for the month of December is involved with food that she was actually reaching out to some of her like friends that were having holiday parties and saying like, hey, instead of a potluck in general, can we just have like a game night? Can we have a board game party? That's can, a great idea. Can we find something else? Even if we just do like a uh, a fashion show contest with like, you know, silly outfits, we all just want to get together in fellowship. Can we do something that does not involve food? And I think that's fair. Yeah, that's a great idea. Courtney wrote, Hey Courtney. I stayed keto. I made keto green bean casserole, cauliflower mash, coleslaw, turkey, and ham. Man, that sounds good. Lupita wrote, Hey Lupita. I was alone in Argentina for Thanksgiving, which was kind of sad. Mm -hmm. They don't have Thanksgiving here. So I had shrimp scampi with a green salad. Wow, I love shrimp scampi though. That sounds pretty Maybe good to me. Maybe it's not Thanksgiving food, but I love that. A pal wrote, Hey pal. I had a turkey leg, Carrie Brown's hot bacon cabbage, and deviled eggs for Thanksgiving. It was the first turkey that I've cooked in 20 years since I was a vegetarian. Oh, wow. Boy, it was nice to eat real turkey instead of the fake turkey loaf thing that tastes like the cardboard box that it comes in. Oh, man. You know, I do like turkey, but I'm telling you <laughs> what, I could make Thanksgiving dinner out of deviled eggs. I love Rachel deviled loves eggs. her deviled eggs. Oh, my gracious. I have got to try Carrie Brown's hot bacon cabbage. That's what I was just about to say. I was looking at a recipe for the red cabbage, and but the hot bacon cabbage, that sounds really good. <laughs> Please. Nancy wrote, Hey Nancy. No extra food here. It was just my husband and me, so I roasted two turkey legs and lots of veggies. It was an easy day for us. Hey, Yay. that's nice. Mary Beth wrote, Hey Mary Beth. I didn't splurge or overeat. I had dark meat turkey, garlic green beans, and a small slice of keto pumpkin pie. We didn't do a pumpkin pie this we year. We did not do a pumpkin pie this year. We'll do one for Christmas. This year we did our keto chow chocolate cream pie, which you, if you have not one. seen that recipe, the video is over Rachel's head. That thing is amazing. You could probably. My kids love it. Oh yeah, everybody. The nephews loved it. You could probably make it with like the pumpkin keto chow flavor oh, you yeah. wanted kind of like a something different pumpkin cream pie 
Uh, Tara wrote, Hey Tara. I stayed keto for Thanksgiving. I had Biltong, Keto Farm, Strawberry Gouda Snack Mix, High Key Hot Cereal, Epic Bone Broth, and a Perfect Keto Cinnamon Roll Bar. Tara now, got to go hiking. Yeah, now if you're trying to figure out like why would she eat that stuff? Because Tara went hiking for Thanksgiving, so that was the food she brought with her. So that. while my view of my plate was beautiful, it was nothing compared to the breathtaking view that Tara got on Thanksgiving. Yeah. Avalon wrote, Hey Avalon. I love you guys, even when you make me cry. Aw, Avalon, we love you. So Susie wrote, now this is Dale, Susie. Hey Susie. I cannot tell you how honored I was that you read my letter on your channel and a little mortified since I'm shy. I'm sure that Dale is smiling his dimply grin down on all of us. Bless you both for helping to spread the word about the keto health benefits. It's easy in our happy little keto bubble to forget that so many people out there, especially those of my generation, have no idea that this way of eating can help their aches and their pains. Susie, we love you so much, and we are so honored to have uh, Dale's ornament on the tree. We put it right up in the front so that I can remember that, not just you know today, but through this entire season. Um, and he's, it's definitely going to have a place of prominence in our home forever because I want us to remember that it's not just about weight loss and to keep that perspective. Right. It's funny, I was watching um, Aaron from 80 Keto, High Fat, High Fun, on his Sunday with Sarah today. Yes. And they were talking about ornaments and that their kids all have special ornaments and that everybody's got a little tin where they put their ornaments on the tree. And that is something that we never did. Like a lot of times our ornaments Should just, have. We, they got broken yes. or misplaced and things like that. And we talked about it when we decorated this tree that these ornaments have so much meaning to us and that like this isn't the only time these ornaments are gonna be on our tree. I was actually thinking about it a couple of days ago that like, we're gonna we're gonna do this every year. Oh, and absolutely! We're just gonna have to get another tree, and we'll have like three trees behind us. The tree may never come down. <laughs> I have news for you. But I mean, all of these ornaments mean so much to us because they all have a story behind them. And I mean, that ornament from Dale. I mean, it is just so so precious to us. I mean, all of them are. But uh, on a side note, watching Sarah's like ornament that she made in elementary school, and she had it like with the glitter on it. It's in fantastic shape. Yeah. Wow, gorgeous. So last one, Lisa wrote. Hey Lisa. Yes, I think about what could have been with my 30 year old son, Matthew. He had epilepsy and he died in his sleep. It was happened three years ago on January 2nd. I constantly think about how keto could have helped him. He was long and lean and he loved sugar, which probably did so much damage. The day after Thanksgiving, we went and spread his ashes on a mountain that he liked to hike. Please don't cry. He's with the Lord now and he's not in pain anymore. God bless. Lisa, we are definitely going to be thinking of Matthew on January 2nd. And um, thank you for sharing his story. And we just pray that we can reach more people with the message of, of keto for like we've been talking about, not just weight loss, but all kinds of, of different health issues. I, I think that sugar is really behind a lot of diseases, a lot of problems. And um, we wanna get his message out too. Mm -hmm. So thank you for sharing that. And we are definitely thinking about Matthew and you during this season. And that is why we have this channel. I mean, we've talked about, you know, we started it on a joke. But it's continued and we continue to put the time and the effort into this channel because it isn't just about weight loss. It's about changing our lifestyle for our health. I mean, and you know, Dr. Berg talks about it a lot. Like, you know, let's get healthy and the weight loss is a side effect of getting healthy. And I truly believe that keto can solve so many issues or at least help with so many issues, help with the diabetes, help with the depression, help with like so many different things. And that is our mission. Like we are on a mission to reach as many people as possible. And so thank you guys. And I think that that is a good place to end this week's Keto on the Couch. So please do us a favor, go over and join our Facebook group so that you can share your stories with people because your stories are going to impact somebody just like our story impacts somebody but it may not impact somebody else. Right. 
please go join that Facebook group. Make sure you leave some questions and comments down below and we will answer them on next week's Keto on the Couch, which will probably be Keto on the Bench as well and hopefully not in our pajamas. <laughs> we, so, will get, we will get dressed for you. So, but again, please leave those questions and comments and please do us a favor, hit the like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. And until next week, bye. Good night.